Hey, hello there. So today I'm talking about questions 305, number of uh, islands 2, uh, which uh, can be a uh, follow up to the question 200, number of islands. Uh, since this is, uh, I guess, the precursor question to that one, uh, I'm going to really quickly summarize what this question is about. We have a 2D grid uh, where the uh, values inside this grid are 0 and 1. And 0 means water, 1 means land. The land can connect with each other, uh, other piece of land where the four di directional moves, if they are uh, adjacent with each other uh, in that respect, we can connect uh, the lands to form an island, and we want to count the number of islands. So uh, if we look at this question from the uh, graph kind of a perspective, the nodes here are the individual little piece of land. The edges are the four directional move connections. Uh, if uh, two lands are connected we have this uh, move, uh, the, the, there is an edge connecting those two um, uh, corresponding nodes inside this graph. So the question of counting the number of islands, it's basically counting the number of uh, connected components inside this graph. Uh, so we could solve this by DFS or VFS search with, uh, with a hash map to, st hash set to store the uh, visited uh, location. Uh, so it will be a linear time with respect to the number of uh, locations inside this uh, 2D uh, grid. And uh, we can also use union find to do this uh, because every union find is basically we have a set of uh, elements and we want to partitioning those into uh, some disjoint subsets. Each disjoint subset can just be a connected component inside this graph. And uh, uh, in the end, uh, after we, you know, partition every uh, the uh, every elements into individual, uh, you know, uh, disjoint subsets, we can just count the number of uh, subsets, which is corresponding to the number of islands, corresponding to the number of connected components inside this graph. So union find can solve this too. Uh, the reason I guess people would usually prefer DFS or BFS is that. Uh, uh, first, it's easier to write DFS or BFS. The second is that uh, uh, union find is doing some extra work uh, that uh, it's going to be sl slightly slower than DFS or BFS. Uh, just recall that uh, for union find, uh, we maintain uh, sizing information about each uh, connected component, each, each subset. Uh, to do this uh, uh, union by the size or rank, uh, that's unnecessary if all we want to do is to count the uh, number of connected components. The sizing information is useless in the end. And um, um, so, so it's just going to be slower than DFS or BFS, slightly. Um, but the good thing is that uh, for union find, uh, we can perform this union one at a time. Uh, and so that makes it uh, adaptable to become an online algorithm. So the, uh, we don't have to have the entirety of the 2D grid up front. Uh, we can gradually to grow this, uh, uh, you know, uh, if, the, if the values here are revealed uh, one at a time, uh, we can still use in union find. But for DFS and BFS search, it's kind of a one-off thing, uh, unless we do some serious uh, uh, modification to those two. Um, so the follow-up question is basically that one, except that uh, the uh, the islands are revealed uh, one at a time. So uh, we have a 2D grid, we have M rows and N columns. This is pretty much useless. Uh, initially filled with water, so zero everywhere. We want to perform a add land operation, which turns water uh, into a land. Um, and we have a list of uh, such operations. So it could be a sequence or a stream of uh, event. And we want to, uh, after each event, we want to uh, return the number of uh, connected components uh, you know, after each operation. So um, yeah, so this, uh, for this reason, union find is very good for this purpose. Uh, every, when, when every, uh, you know, islands is revealed, all we need to do is to um, try to union it uh, with existing island uh, land if it's uh, surrounding uh, the new newly revealed one. Uh, if it's by itself, we just add one connected components by, by itself. Uh, if, it, if it's able to merge into an existing one, uh, then we don't add the number, uh, but that, that connected component becomes one larger. Uh, and uh, 
if it just so happened that this land can work as a bridge to connect the union different connected components, then uh, we would de uh, decrement the uh, the number of connected components inside this graph. So uh, we can do constant, almost constant time uh, work for each individual revealed land and uh, for each individual query for the total number of uh, connected component at any given time is going to be almost a linear, uh, almost a constant. So the total runtime will be, uh, uh, you know, just how, how, how many uh, operations are there, uh, are there is going to be how many uh, con uh, operations, uh, you know, uh, some multiply of constant uh, 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 time complexity and multiply by the total number of uh, operations we have. So it's a uh, linear respect to the total number here. Um, so um, let's kind of talk about uh, how, how this works. Um, basically, uh, we're just going to have a totally empty set. When there is a new element comes in, we just have uh, yourself as a single uh, subset uh, of size one. And uh, we also remember there is a one island. Uh, when there is a new island comes in, we also we first uh, what we do is to um, have it by itself a, as a single subset uh, of size one and uh, increment the number of islands by one. So we have two, and then we search for the four directions. If we find that there is a subset in that location in the in the adjacent location, we merge these two subset together and uh, decrement the number of islands by one uh, so yeah so after we insert this one we find there is a another subset another island here we, we union them together and decrement this count by one uh, here we have another new island so it, it's by itself a subset uh, and we increment the number of islands uh, here we find another one so we uh, have it self by itself a, as a sorry uh, we, we have another uh, element here, so another node revealed. So we, um, yeah, so it's by itself a single island. Uh, very lastly, if we can have something like uh, another one here, uh, we will try to actually merge all those three into one single um, island and decrement the number of island count by two. So uh, first, the increase one for for the initial like insertion, and then decrease this by two. So the total answer, if we do have a one here, it will be two. Um, so that's um, um, pretty much how to use union find. Um, so let's actually just copy a my template about union find over here. Uh, I have a note about uh, union find on my GitHub. You can check about that. Um, yeah, so. Just gonna use the recursive uh, pass compression find because it's short. It takes less screen space. Um, so this is uh, the offline kind of version of union find. We pre-allocate uh, the annotation for uh, the parents. Is basically which connect. Uh, it's telling us which connect com component uh, uh, this node belongs to. Sort of. Uh, it's telling you some neighbor, and uh, that neighbor knows some neighbor. But eventually, uh, everyone is just going to have parent uh, to be the cluster, the connected component re representative later on. The size is keeping track of the size of the connected component. Uh, only the leader, uh, the size for the leader is always going to be the current maximum size for the connected component. The individual element inside that the component might not be, the sizing information might not be. Um, and uh, in the offline version, we initialize this data structure with this n here. Uh, but uh, since now this is pretty much an online question, um, we can just uh, initialize this with two empty, uh, two empty things. So for these two things, uh, we pretty much just gonna annotate uh, the uh, locations, row and columns. Uh, if we insert a node here. Uh, I reveal a land here at the row zero, column zero. We're just gonna say row zero and column zero. It's by itself a single uh, connected component, and it has size one. So the row and row and column number is gonna be the key. Um, its parent initially is just gonna be itself. The size is gonna be one. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have a insert function. 
uh, ruin column. Um, I'm actually get some quality of life changes here. This is just not, nothing but uh, uh, we start this totally empty. Whenever we see a single node here, uh, we create a two slots here. Uh, one slot for its uh, parent uh, uh, annotation. The other one is for the size about uh, uh, this potentially larger uh, connected component uh, inside this graph. So yeah, the keys are the row and column pairs. Initially, it's just going to be yourself. So that's insertion. Whenever we have a new land revealed, we first try to do this insert. If it's already there, we do nothing. Uh, otherwise, we will uh, initialize these two, two things. Um, and we also need to keep track of the uh, connected components at any given time. So initially it's zero. Whenever we actually do an insert, we want to increment this first. And then we will try to do the union. Uh, we do have a gatekeeper here. If the two land uh, already belongs to the SAM connected component, we wouldn't do the union actually. Uh, otherwise, we will try to merge the smaller island into the larger one, since that uh, if we do perform a union, that means that the two subsets are not are disjoint. Uh, they will become a single su subset. That means the number of islands will actually decrement by one. So we do a, a, a you know, decrement, decrement here. Um, so yeah, so I think with this modification, we can um, pretty much solve this question really easily uh, in terms of uh, the actual code inside this uh, solution kind of class. Um, yeah. So all we need to do is just uh, initialize this data structure. And uh, I'm just gonna accepting the reveal of land one at a time. So if this is, uh, is already in the, in the uh, we will try to insert it first. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we will try to insert because this has a safety mechanism here. Uh, if it's already a land that we know, we don't do this insertion. So right, we take a row and column. Yes. Uh, after we do the insertion, we will try to union the land with the adjacent uh, four different. Uh, uh, locations. Uh, if, if there is a land there, we do want to do that. If the adjacent uh, four values are not uh, islands, we will just skip that uh, union, possible union. So it's going to iterate over four different locations. I'm just going to call this RRCC. Um, you know. If it's not an uh, uh, actual island, so that's that's uh, if it's not in a, a key in our two hash maps, uh, then it must be a water. So if it's a water, we don't do union. Uh, otherwise, we'll perform union. 
between this um, two pieces of land. So yeah, so in the end, we're just gonna, uh, yeah, so yeah, we, we, this question is not truly online. We have to return a sequence of uh, the uh, number of com component count. So uh, we're just gonna have a, something to collect that. Um, let's just call it uh, num components, num islands. So after we deal with these four unions, that means we have processed uh, uh, the potential, uh, uh, you know, island merge. So we can uh, just push this uh, self dot n, uh, the union find dot n, the counting, the number of uh, the component counting counter onto this uh, uh, stack. So in the end, we just return this. It will be the solution to this question. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, give it a try. Nope, uh, not working. Uh, continue is not uh, properly in this loop. Oh, OK. I'm so sorry, this one. Uh, it should be returned, OK. Seems to work. Uh, let's try to submit it. It's working. Uh, not super fast, uh, but it's okay. Uh, so if you look at the, the code, it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, we initialize this union find, and in fact, we does not care about this M and M. We don't care about this uh, at all if we use union find. Uh, so what we do here is uh, initialize this uh, union find data structure. Which takes nothing. We initializing two hash maps. They are totally empty. We initialize a zero counter, counting the number of uh, subset, disjoint subset. For each position, uh, we're just gonna uh, create its uh, annotations, uh, its parent, its size, and uh, for the four adjacent uh, possible locations, we will try if if the there is a land, we we'll try to do this union. And uh, after that, we will just update. We will just push this uh, uh, n the counter directly onto this result. So if this is truly a online algorithm, uh, you will have a um, have a function that's called add land, and so it's just going to be this this thing here, uh, this uh, for loop body here, be in the uh, be in the in the function, um, and. Uh, yeah, this these two things are just gonna uh, this thing is just gonna be in the in constructor, so um, yeah. So it, it will be a uh, if you look at the the individual operations here we do for every uh, new review of a land, it's a it's a constant time operation here to do the insertion. Uh, just create a two key value pair uh, and increment this. Uh, so that's all, all the insertion is doing. So it's constant. And uh, the union here, uh, we know that it's almost a constant, and the, the we just do four multiplier of times of that, so it could be considered like a, in, in constant time. So, so this is indeed uh, the number of elements inside this multiplied by some some relatively constant stuff. So it's a linear in time, and for space, uh, we uh, the stuff we have is two hash maps. Uh, that grows linearly with the number of uh, nodes uh, that uh, number of land we being revealed in here. So yeah, so it's a linear time, linear space uh, solution using union find, and the, the the body here is pretty pretty clear, uh, and the, the modification to the union find template uh, code is uh, very little, um, and and it's um, very intuitively making sense. Uh, you know, when we reveal a single uh, island, it's by itself uh, uh, a subset. And uh, uh, when we reveal a new land, we will try to look around to see if we can actually merge two set. Uh, so it, it's uh, very logical here. Yeah, so that's uh, the uh, question today.